Independent, I be loving how you winning. I just wanna go catch your vibe. Ayy, wanna see you in the daytime and not when it only get dark outside. Ayy, type of love I can't hide. Ayy, maybe wanna blow your line. Ayy, you don't finish no your line. Ayy, I never wanna blow your high. Look, baby, what's on your mind? Really wanna see your face. Baby, come through and slide. Spend the night at my place. Ask some what's on my mind. Wondering how it tastes. Maybe wanna press rewind. Give me that double take. That's on my mind, 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 my mind. That's what's on my mind, on my mind. Exit one ten and hit the two ten, cause baby I'm in your section. I know you like to work out, mama. Can I get a late night session? Can we do some late night stretching? Or can we do some late night sexy? Cause talking ain't enough and pictures ain't enough I'm tired of the late night texts Look, you been leading me on for a minute Trying to catch a vibe, pick a song and I'm with it Girlfriends calling your phone, you should miss it Why you acting tough when you know you submissive? Calling your bluff on the road, ain't switching Ringing doorbell and the rose came with it And if you really with it, yeah, rose came with it Shit so sweet, pack of honey still dripping Baby, what's on your mind? Really wanna see your face Baby, come through and slide Spend the night at my place Asking what's on my mind checking in vlog so yes I'm excited about that oh let me put this off look at this look at this straightener guys isn't this entirely so cute it's a rechargeable straightener that I picked up from Amazon and look at the work she does if you've watched the install video for this hair then you've probably already seen this so that's besides the point but good morning you're welcome um, so I just finished doing my workout I literally just finished doing my workout I um, took my shower you know did skincare to become a real nice girl or a real nice lady hello <laughs> um, but it is currently 7 it's actually 8 it's 8 10 a.m. and um, I am about to get into some editing because I'm showered already and prepped for the day. But I'm about to get into some editing. I'm doing a marathon. I think you guys have seen that by now. But yes, I'm doing a marathon um, for the whole month of June. I call it my Gemini season marathon because I'm a Gemini. And I love the month of June. So I figured it would be a perfect thing to do with my channel. So I'm hoping that I'm able to keep it up every year. But this year, for sure for sure so um, I have to edit the video but I also want to push my breakfast till like um, I think I should say that I'm not really intermittent fasting right now I'm not really fasting right now if you've been watching me for a while you know that I'm literally the queen for intermittent fasting I do it I do it like you know I'm coughing then I'm fasting like I'm fasting every second of my life you know what I'm saying so i am currently at the phase in my journey or in my fitness journey where i am bulking or i am trying to cut if you get what i'm saying so i'm at a stage where i'm trying to build more muscle um and 
not necessarily build more muscle but have muscle definition so I'm currently at 130 something or 100 and yeah 138 39 140 you guys already know that but I don't want to lose any weight more than that I want to be exactly around this same weight because I have lost a lot of weight and I took a picture like last week outside and I looked a little sickly <laughs> And when I say sickly, I mean I looked sick, literally. I looked like somebody who was sick. And I didn't really like it because I felt like I had lost so much weight. The photo actually did look like um, I had lost so much weight. So I'm, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to hold on to the weight loss for right now and just build muscle, be more defined, and, you know, just work out to build more muscle. So currently that's what I'm doing. Um, so my I have a weekly workout split you know i have a weekly workout split which divides my workout into um you know different parts of my body or like focused on different muscle groups let me rather say that so i have days when i work on upper body i have days when i work on lower body i have days when i focus on just core and then i have days when i do full body and then i have a rest and recovery day which is key especially when you're trying to build muscle um and this week has been amazing i'm not gonna lie i started the strength strength training i started strength training somewhere last week end of may ish and then i told myself that the whole of june i'm gonna dedicate it to doing strength training and it hasn't been bad i'm not gonna lie it hasn't been bad i think i've built my strength over time and that is helping me to do it but also because it's just muscle group focused you get tired early because imagine working only one part of your body for like 40 minutes before you finish your your arms are all sore and you know and it's 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 an experience is all i can say but today's workout i realized that i felt way stronger i could do more um, reps and more sets so I'm happy about that I am very happy about that and when you feel it you feel it like when you feel like when you're stronger you feel it you feel it just by how much more work you can do in the gym or in your workout station so ah, it feels good you know I feel really good I feel um, in my workout bag I keep upping the game for myself every time and i'm here for it i'm just here for it um but yes that's kind of the update on the workout situation um in terms of food again i'm not fasting right now because again i don't want to lose so much weight so i eat three meals a day but i still i feel like i'm still very used to intermittent fasting so i still push my breakfast till like 10 or sometimes even 11 sometimes even 12 still because sometimes I find myself doing everything aside trying to eat breakfast because in my mind I'm like, I don't have any business with breakfast. So I'm still trying to get back into the habit of actually making myself breakfast because it's a whole process. Like putting together food in the morning, it has to be like you have to love yourself enough to do that. <laughs> like it's so weird to say that, but like I love cooking. You guys know that I love cooking. Then right now, I feel so lazy to make myself breakfast. So I'm making a conscious effort to eat breakfast and then also eat healthy breakfast. Start my day off with healthy food. So I'm going to eat, but I think I will eat around 10. I want to just finish the video that I have to work on because that goes up today so that I can get it out. It's already done. I have to do a voiceover and then just export hair and then i'm done with that situation and then i'll come back to you guys so we can have some breakfast but for right now i'm just gonna chill and you know edit and do what i have to do but i thought i'd update you you guys you know just give you guys a little bit of an inside tea and then um yeah yeah that's kind of like what is going on right now all right breathe in some love let yourself on
breakfast is done I have my coffee let me put you guys here so that I can show you so I have my coffee I'm sitting in my little corner in the living room I love sitting here it's literally my favorite corner because I can see through the window and then I can just chill um, but I have coffee I feel like I miss I make some of the best coffee right now like the combination that I have going on is and then I also have my scrambled I love scrambled eggs it's literally my favorite type of eggs to have and then I have um, half a slice of bagel because I don't want to eat everything because I'm I don't think I can finish everything yesterday my husband and I tried and this bagel is pretty big so I'm sorry that the lightning looks really bad oh my goodness <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast. I'm currently watching um, some vlogs on YouTube So I'm just gonna do that eat feed little mama mm -hmm. We're in the process of feeding a little morning snack um, But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this and then I will see you guys a little later I think I want to check my weight with you guys again. So I'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> You jump to fly, yeah, hi, yeah, hi. Open up to spread your wings and jump to rise and fall. You flying high, yeah. You jump to fly, yeah, hi, yeah, hi. So it is time to make lunch. For lunch today, I'm having um, lasagna, but I'm making it in a different style. So what I'm doing is I'm not gonna bake the lasagna. You guys will see. Let me just let me not even talk too much. You guys will see the process. So. Let's get into making some lunch. I've been just chilling, editing. I just finished feeding in front of my pie. And now it's time to make my lunch. So let's do that. I'm using this right here. Um, Ron Zoni. <laughs> I don't know, but this is the lasagna brand that I like to buy every time. Because I find that um, it's solid. Okay, especially when you're baking. It's solid. It is really solid. So I'm just going to keep uh, cook some of this now with this process what I do is I don't bake the lasagna I just cook the pasta on fire I make the sauce on the side and then I put them together and then I top it with my cheese so I just don't bake it's still the same um, still the same process for lasagna but I just don't bake so because I'm not gonna be baking and I'm not going to be cutting it into little pieces I'm going to be breaking this into tiny little pieces so that it makes it a lot more easier for me to eat it and this is out of experience guys the other time i mean the first time i tried it i cooked chunky whole lasagnas and then now i couldn't pick them up with the fork because it's so huge so if you want to try this recipe definitely um, break it into like little chunks like that but yeah cannot see from where you are seated I'm sorry um, this is what it looks like and I decided to eat in my plate because I'm not waiting around again all right so I'm just gonna eat in this stuff but let's go ahead and taste this I think she'll taste really nice look at that cheese oh mm -mm 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 -mm. tell me why it tastes just like lasagna except that it's not baked it tastes literally just like lasagna i used a different tomato sauce i didn't use actual pasta sauce and i think that's the only thing that i'm missing 
Mm. I'm just gonna go and enjoy this. And then I'll show you guys when I'm done. Hey guys. So happy Tuesday. Um, I am literally just here to end of the vlog because I want to measure myself with you guys. Um, because I told you guys that I'm currently in a phase where I'm bulking. So I want to take my measurement my measurement with you guys. <laughs> I'm looking in front of the mirror. Um, but I want to take my measurement with you guys to see what I currently weigh so that the next time I do my weighing vlog, we'll do that again to see if there's any change. Alright? So let's um start from my waist. I think I should put on a bra because <laughs> Okay guys, so I just put on um a halter top. Just to make it easier for me to um, get access to my waistline. I think I should take you guys down. Um, but yeah. So this is this is currently what we look like. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Like we have come such a long way. Like let me make sure that you guys can actually see. But we have come such a long way. I have loose skin, obviously, as you can see. Now, one thing I'm happy about is the fact that I don't hide this from you guys because this is real life. Um, this is literally real life, okay? I'm a young mom of two. I've had two girls, and this is what my skin is looking like um, after having kids. So I'm currently in a phase where I'm trying to get the skin to look tight. Um, I don't know how I would do that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how she's going to get tight because obviously you can see some tightness happening so it's happening but as to how long it's going to take I don't know I really don't know but also I'm happy because I have grown to become very comfortable in my skin I used to never like this like this was such a bother to me but I have actually come to accept that it's my body. It did a great thing. It had two of my best friends in the world. <laughs> like my daughters. I love them. They're literally my life. And another thing is, um, I'm so like, I'm going to take care of myself. It's just who I am. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to stop working out right now. Just because this for me is a lifestyle. Um, this for me is just who I am. If anybody that knew my mom before she passed, knows that this was my mom <laughs> like she would work out she would go for jogging so i think i take it from her um so i don't think that i'm ever going to stop working out so eventually i will um you know lose a lot more weight or i will you know get tighter in certain areas the only thing i don't know that will be tight is my stomach i don't know if she will ever be like tight 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 except that seeing this you know seeing the cuts um, seeing the cuts that is coming through gives me hope, you know, it kind of gives me hope, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But for right now, I just want to see what I currently weigh, um, not weigh, <laughs> like what my size, my body size is so that I can check again, um, in the next few weeks or the next few months. So let's see for my waist. So for my waist. I'm just gonna put it around here. Can you guys see? So for my waist, I'm just gonna put it around here and make sure that so I'm not like sucking my belly in because when I suck my belly in, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it out. I think this is fine. Yep, I think I will be fine like this, completely fine. So that when I suck my belly in, yeah. <laughs> so this is currently 31. So my waist is currently 31. So that's good. And then my hip. Um, let's go down. So that you guys can see. But my hip right here. Now, mind you, my hip used to be 45, okay? My hip used to be 4 or 5. But right now, let's see what my hip is giving. Let's see. This is comfortable enough. My hip currently is 4, four one, 41. So, 41 is what my hips is giving right now. And that's not so bad. And then I'm going to do around my arm. 
So this is my arm. My arm currently is 11. My arm is currently 11. Ouch. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Comfortable is 11. A bit tight will be 10. Um, but comfortable is definitely 11. So my arm is 11. So waist is 31. My hip is 41. My arm is 11. So we're in the one ones. So that's good. I think that's the only part that I need to do. My waist, my hip, my arms, and yeah, I think that's it. And then my weight as well. So let's see what my weight. Let's see what my weight is currently giving. So let's do it again. So 137, let's do it one more time. Just wait for it to go down and then we'll do it again. Let's see what she's giving. So it's definitely 140. So I am definitely 140 for sure. <laughs> so I'm definitely 140 for sure. So we know that. I'm um, just going to keep that information down, making sure that you guys are secured. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know that I'm going to keep that information um, down so that the next time that I check all of these things i know exactly how much i've gained or how much i've lost and if actually you know the body composition is doing something you know um but this is honestly it for our vlog today or how many ever days that i did that vlog for um i hope that you guys like it again this wellness vlog is for every millennial mom or every mom out there all right i want you to know that you have to check in with yourself you have to take care of yourself um you have to take care of the very like intimate things about you that is very easy to forgo when you're a mom i think that since i became a mom i've realized that it's, it's so easy for you to like forgo certain things or not think about certain things about yourself everything now um is just revolving around the kids and the family and how to make money and how to pay the next bill and you know and yes that's how we're surviving but also you need to take care of this buddy is what i always say take care of the buddy make sure that she's fed she's well like taking care of you know and exercising for me um is a huge part of taking care of yourself as a person because you need to move the body it doesn't i'm always saying that you don't only have to be doing workouts you can do a walk you can do a run you can do you know whatever makes you feel like this body is getting some sort of exercise some sort of movement that is what i want for you all right so be sure to find time to take care of yourself um and as always i love you guys i will see you guys in my next one Bye. <laughs>